Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're all ready, because in just one day, we have the opportunity to see not just one, but potentially four world records go down. 2023 is the year that just keeps on giving, but what we are about to witness in Yevon, France, could go down as one of the most unforgettable track meets of 2023. In this meet, we have multiple, genuine record attempts going down, and what better place to start with than the men's 3,000 meters? Competing in this race will be Jacob Kropp, Grant Fisher, Mohamed Katir, Thierry Ndikunyayo, Gurma Lamecha, and Talihun Bekele. Now, up until a few days ago, Jakob Ingebrigtsen was also scheduled to run in this very race, but unfortunately, he's dropped out of this 3000, and realistically, we could see the legendary mark of 7 minutes and 24 seconds gone, erasing for the first time ever one of Daniel Komen's 3K world records. Now, the competition is certainly looking incredible here, but beyond just the runners in this event is the pace up front that is expected to be red hot, signifying a very realistic world record. Now, the first pacer is scheduled to go through the 1,000 meter mark in 2 minutes and 29 seconds. Then there's Philip Sassanet, the second pacer, slated to go through 1,500 in 344. And then there's Tom Elmer, scheduled to go through 2,000 meters in 4 minutes and 58 seconds. As you can see, the scheduled pace is just under 60 seconds for every 400, and this goes all the way up until the 2000 mark. But if there's one thing that we can almost be guaranteed will go down, it's that a strong kick is likely going to happen over the final few laps, which, if timed correctly, could result in a new world record. I am very excited to see this entire field attack this mark, but honestly, one of the most intriguing athletes for me is Grant Fisher, who completely destroyed multiple American records in 2022, and given these personal best improvements, he's a prime candidate to attack the 724. It honestly feels just like yesterday that Grant Fisher became one of the very few high school milers to ever break the four minute barrier for the mile, and now he is one of the favorites to attack one of Daniel Komen's world records. Oh, how time flies. Beyond just this amazing 3000 is the men's 1500, and while Jakob Ingebrigtsen is no longer running in the 3000 meters, he's officially set to run in the 1500. Now, many of you might remember this, but last season we saw Ingebrigtsen open up his indoor campaign with a new world record on this very track, so if he has any fitness at all, we should certainly expect a fast time. At 330.60, his indoor world record from last season still makes him the only athlete to ever break 331, and with an outdoor personal record of 328, and with an Olympic gold attached to his name, we know that he has the strength and the speed, so if he can just put together another classic Ingebrigtsen performance, I think history very well could be made in this event as well. Also, and this is more of a side note, both the 200 meters and the 1500 meter world records on both the men's and women's sides come from this very competition, so given Ingebrigtsen's attempt tomorrow, he's certainly chosen the right location for this 1500 opener. And speaking of the 1500, we also have Gudaf Sagay on the women's side, attacking her own 1500 indoor world record. Now, back in 2021, Sagai set the world record in the 1500 on this very track, running an amazing time of 353.09, and it's also important to mention that she has the second fastest time ever indoors, at 354.77. Also, just one week ago, Sagai also ran the second fastest indoor mile of all time at 416.16, so we know that she is in great shape right now, and given her experience and abilities in middle distance, I think this 1500 world record also could go down. Lastly, and this one is quite interesting to me, is the women's 800 meters. I think this record has a real chance of going down because of Keely Hodgkinson from Great Britain. Now, Hodgkinson has been on an incredible streak already in 2023. Not only did she break the world record for the indoor 600 with a dominant performance, but she also ran a 1 minute and 57 second 800 meters indoors as well. Now, the current indoor world record stands at 1 minute 55.82 seconds, set by Yolanda Keplak from 2002. This is a fast time, and improving on two seconds for your indoor personal record in the 800 is certainly a big step forward, but Keely Hodgkinson is looking incredibly strong right now, and she's still only 21 years of age, and given her international experience and obvious fitness right now, I think she realistically could land a 1 minute and 55 second 800 meters, and if she can time it correctly, I think she could also get under 155. 
In addition to these incredible world record possibilities, we also have an absolutely stacked international competition in many other events. We also have Karsten Vorholm in this event, we have Marcel Jacobs, we have Mondo Duplantis, and we have Femke Boll, who just ran under 50 seconds for the Indoor 400. This indoor competition could set the stage for what will come in 2023, so definitely have your eyes glued to the screen tomorrow. And now I want to turn over the questions to you. What records do you think will fall tomorrow? And beyond that, what times do you think these athletes will hit in their respective events? Thanks for watching, everyone. And as always, until next time.